And the shooting at former President Trump's rally on Saturday left people around the nation shocked. But he's not the only president to face this kind of violence throughout U.S. history. There have been countless plots and attempts to assassinate U.S. presidents, including President Gerald Ford. He survived not one but two assassination attempts. Ford mentioned that he didn't want to be captive in the White House. He wanted to continue to move about the country, connect with the American people. And that's exactly what President Gerald Ford did after being shot at on September 5th, 1975. Dr. Morel Lukey, curator at the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Library, describes what happened that day. He was in California and he was walking from his hotel room to go to the Capitol to talk to Governor Jerry Brown of California. and. As he was stopping and talking with the crowd, a woman started walking up to him. She drew a gun and uh, the Secret Service noticed and one Secret Service agent, Larry Buendorf, was able to get his hand um, in between the hammer of the gun and the gun itself and prevent the assassination attempt. The would-be assassin was Lynette Squeaky Fromm, who was arrested and later convicted. The gun she used is on display in the museum. Lukey says there were talks on whether Ford should be traveling during that time particularly going back to California, but he did. And 17 days later on September 22nd. And as he's moving from the hotel to the limousine, Sarah Jane Moore fires a shot, which misses Ford's head by about five inches and lodges in the door of the hotel. A bystander made his way to the woman, grabbed her arm and a second shot was fired. It didn't hit Ford, but it did hit a bystander who later recovered. The Secret Service then rushed Ford to the car. They all jumped on top of him to keep him close to the floor. After they've driven for a few blocks, uh, Ford tells the story that he says to the Secret Service agents, hey guys, can you get up now? You're smothering me. Following the assassination attempts, Dr. Lukey says more than 6,000 people sent President Ford letters wishing him the best and offering their support. And some 300 people wrote him asking if he could cut back on his travel schedule. President Ford told reporters that presidents need to stay in touch with the people. Dr. Lukey read a quote from Ford. I don't think any person as president ought to cower in the face of a limited number of people who want to take the law into their own hands. The American people want a dialogue between them and their president and their other public officials. And if we can't have that opportunity of talking with each other, seeing one another, shaking hands with one another, something has gone wrong in our society. And after the second assassination attempt, Ford was fitted with a bulletproof jacket, which is in the museum. He talked about how he thought it was very important to wear it, but it was uncomfortable. It weighed nearly six pounds.